We're going to do a final render of the Place de Jode at Clément Ferrand during the night. This image was very complex to render with the previous version of Autopano Giga. And very clearly, if there's going to be one area that's going to be more complicated to stitch for more basic programs, it's going to be this particular kind of case where there are two difficulties. There are moving passers by or cars, but also a change in exposure levels of the photo because of the rotating lighting on the Place de Georges. Here is yellow green, here is red blue. However, we can see that the sky is perfectly harmonized. So the program has very carefully operated the modifications of the harmonizations that are very precise, very localized, to blend the movements of the cars in the foreground. We've rendered this photo with exactly the same options as the previous photo, and we're going to open both of them in Photoshop. So let's start with the Place de Jode. The first thing we can see is that in the overlap zone, the program has tried to preserve all the pedestrians only erasing those that are in the transition zone and tried its best to harmonize the two photos with their brightness. We can see in the sky there's no mark at all and however the colors have been very modified on this one photo, the program has been able to distinguish between the high portion of this photo and this lower portion of tiles in the Place de Jode. We can see that the harmonization of moving objects is not perfect. You can see it here even if it's not perfectly sharp or marked. But we're going to see that thanks to the images that are overlaid on our final render, which is what we would have got if we had a JPEG, we've got our individual images available on different layers, which would be very simple to edit thanks to a layer mask. So if we carry on looking at our image, we can see that the program has tried to harmonize the different colors as best as it can and blend moving objects as discreetly as possible. Despite Autopana's best efforts, when the gap between two uh, images is very visible, then all we have to do is go to the layer that is concerned by this uh, retouch, so this photo here. We can see just how hard the program has worked to harmonize the sky uh, when the sky is so green here on the left of the photo. So we're going to edit this image and we're going to put a mainly black layer mask on it. So click on this add layer mask, but hold down the alt key and you can see that we've got black. So now all we need to do is use the brush tool and the white color. So to use the right size of brush, so let's change our brush size and the hardness will Put it as low as possible so that the effect is going to be as smooth as possible so we're just going to slide this slightly to make the photo reappear so we can see that the, the on the layer mask it's just slightly whitened there it's great so it's just going to slightly be felt so like this we can make the car's lights fade out a lot more progressively which will make it look as though we'd taken a photo with a rotating digital camera. This would allow us to get results that are a lot more aesthetically pleasing and blend perfectly this movement of cars in this photo. So this is how in a few clicks we've been able to couple two advantages of Auto Pano Giga. The harmonization of lighting which would be very complicated to work with a uh, layer mask and to just finalize our image just to make the softest possible transition between the two photos so before and after so these two options coupled or uh, three options uh, the anti-ghosting the multi-band and multi-layer will give us a great final render which couples in this case really all the major difficulties that we can find when we want to make panoramas by stitching. So let's carry on just quickly we'll just carry on with the treatment of this photo in the middle. We will add a black layer mask thanks to the alt key and with our white paintbrush we're going to gradually blur the two images together so that the car headlights or the movement of the car headlights look as good as possible. So that's what we could say about this photo on the Plastilobe.